How much plastic is there in our waterways and including in our drinking water? How does it get there and how bad is it for us? Microplastics and nanoplastics are very difficult to measure in environmental systems. I found a way to track microplastics and nanoplastics in the environment with a new method. To be able to more easily measure the plastics, we incorporate metal inside. This is what we call metal doping. We can then take these plastics that we make with the metal inside and put them into different environmental test systems to be able to better understand plastic behavior in the environment. We also test the behavior of microplastics and nanoplastics in technical water systems like wastewater treatment plants and drinking water treatment plants. The good news is that these systems are very effective at removing both of these materials from the treated water. In our case, we found over 95% removal. Microplastics in soil is a different matter. The particles are so small, they're almost impossible to remove, and conventional plastics won't decompose. We found that microplastics, and even more nanoplastics, can move through soil and also be taken up to plants, for example, wheat plants. The thing I like most about being an analytical chemist is that other people are able to use our methods and take them even further. That's why I love being able to work with other scientists, such as environmental scientists and ecotoxicologists. The more that we know about the risks of plastics and microplastics in the environment, the easier it will be to avoid negative impacts in the future. For my work, I am receiving the 2021 Marie Heim Vöcklin Prize from the Swiss National Science Foundation.